This is this is Rushington. He's actually purring right now, so he's happy. Um, can you see him? He's right here. He's got these vibrant green eyeballs. <laughs> is there anything you want to say? I see you looking at me. You want to <laughs> there it is. There it is. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Birdwatching Podcast, where we ask chicks questions to get answers for you guys. Mm -hmm. Today, I have a very special guest. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Her name is Brittany Price. What's going on, Britt? Oh, dude, I'm doing good, Jack. It's, good to, it's good to see you. Uh, it's, I feel like it's been forever, but it's. I feel like it's also only been... 24 hours yeah right exactly <laughs> when was the last time we hung out probably like over a month no not even what, what was the last time we saw each other because I'm, I'm thinking before mexico yeah oh dude it must have yeah i was it there was for like before, nine days probably last podcast with delaney here yeah for real which was like over a month wow so it actually has been a grip way too long isn't that crazy time <sighs> time flies but cool thing about like really good homies is when you hang out again there's like no weird space, you mm -hmm. know, like it doesn't feel like you kind of just pick up where you left off. Yeah. Like it, it could have been a month that has been gone past right. and then it feels like yesterday you were hanging out. Right. Exactly. So I don't even know when the last time we saw each other. For real. Yeah. I think it probably was Delaney's podcast. Wow. Mm -hmm. It feels like yesterday I was just giving you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> cool. All right. So we're going to start off the podcast with a rooster review like we always do. Today we're trying out the Mandarin Horitos. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, these are delicious. Have you had them before? No. Oh my good. Are you kidding me? Can I twist it? No, it's not a twist off. We're going to have to pop them. All right. I'm not good with popping. Can you pop mine? Yeah. Thank you. No problemo, chica. We've got a gentleman on our hands. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up? Mellow here. Ah. Uh, all right. They're nice and chilled, too. Yeah, they're cold. They've, they've been sitting in the fridge, so we're all ready to ready to get at it. All right. How do you pronounce this? Horitos. Horitos. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Um, hold on. It's uh, So we had to change the phrase. It used to be dink it and sink it. And now uh, there's a new one. There's a new one. The new one is knock it and dock it. Do we still knock it? Knock it. So knock it. And dock it. Forgot to preface this. Um, Got to give a decimal because no decimals is rookie scores. Yeah. So we're, we're going to give it a rating. We'll talk about what we think about the drink. Um, I'm, I'm going to get back into it because I was preoccupied when I took my sip. I'm curious about what you think because I know what I think about this. So I've had Horitos before. I'm this pretty sure I've had, I've, I've, I think I've had Mandarin too. And um, I love it. Yeah, it's so it was so good. I was like super tempted to just like throw it back. Yeah, <laughs> but now I just want to sip on it, get the flavor every once right. in a while. No, yeah, they're so good. They have a ton of flavors. So they have like mango, pineapple, guava, um, the apple flavor, which is like manzana or something like that. They have uh, grapefruit, like so many flavors. I actually wow. picked these up at Federico's when we went today. Really? Yeah. I, so I got rolled up tacos and then I was like, oh, I could do um, like Mexican food for the taste test around the world today. Uh -huh. So I was like, I'll get horitos for the for the beverage, like the rooster. Really good choice. Great choice, right? Mm -hmm. Love, Love it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> and then actually uh, today you brought them over for me, but we're going to be trying out Mexican candy for the uh, for the taste test around the world. Mm. And I'll be honest with you, not a big fan of Mexican candy. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> You said that, and I was like, uh, okay. But, it, but it's fun, though, because, like, you know, you kind of stay in the culture. And then, uh, I mean, <laughs> a lot of people really like this stuff. So, like. I'm I'm so open to trying it, and I want to love it. Me too. But And so then I'll try it, and so I'm, I'm just like. Every mm. time. Every time I'm like, oh, it's just not it. No. I'm also not a huge fan of, like, salty and sweet, unless they're separated. So, like, yeah, I love, like, chips and ice cream, but I won't do, like, fries in my Wendy's Frosty. Yuck. Like, can't do it. <laughs> no, that's gross. I don't like it at all. Have you ever had this bag? Um, my old roommate, Parker, mm. she, mm -hmm. her mom had made this super awesome bag. It was, um, I'm pretty sure it was pretzels and candy corn. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What an easy mix, but just delicious. Talk about, like, salty and sweet. Right. Like, separate. And so you can go grab 
one pretzel, throw it in, be like, all right, candy, candy corn, corn time. Yeah. Mm. Do you like candy corn? I love it. Really? Yeah. That's, that, that might be a hot take. I think a lot of people don't like candy corn. It's all the people that don't like candy corn are just a little messed up. They're just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> they just need to go. Yeah, they need to get out of here. They've, they've got something wrong with their taste buds. Right. <laughs> but no, dude, it was a perfect mix. And then sometimes if you're really feeling um, exotic. Crazy. You would take a piece of candy corn and a pretzel You're at the same time. Psycho. <laughs> it, it, it felt absurd. I, I felt wrong doing it. <laughs> but it was, uh, to die for. Yeah. I might have to text Parker and ask for more. Uh-huh. Can I get the recipe? <laughs> yeah. How do you make this again? Because it, it only tasted good when it was from right. wherever Mama, you guys sent Mamacita. it from. Right. The mama love, right. yeah, yeah. Madre. Mm. <laughs> uh, right on. All right, so let's give a rating because we're just absolutely getting sidetracked. Yes, we are. Um, I have a rating. You have a rating? Yeah. All right, yeah. I'll go first. I'm going to give it an 8.3. 8.3? Which is, is pretty high for me. I actually very rarely hit 8s. I'll usually stick around like 6, 7s if it's kind of average. 8s means like I really like it. 9 is like I'm going to go buy more like right after this episode. So... That's where I'm feeling. This was my first time trying it. And let me tell you, on our way to poker tonight, Mm -hmm. instead of going out and getting other drinks, I'm probably going to look for a 12-pack of this. Yeah, for real. And so I want to give it a a 9.2. Whoa! Yeah, dude, a niner. That was solid. They they are good. It's so good. good. And I really enjoy orange juice as well. Mm, and that's mm-hmm. I'll pick orange juice over apple juice. Oh really? Yeah. Not me. I'll go apple juice over orange <laughs> juice. But I love fake orange flavored drinks. So like, um, like last week we had um, these drinks called peepees or pie pie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? I saw it. That was like an orange drink too. This is way better than that. Not even close. I'm sure this is better because yeah. if I'm giving it a solid nine, nine two. Plus, yeah, above nine. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. I I would have to agree with you. Good pick. How did you know I like oranges? I didn't. You didn't. They had two options. So they had grapefruit and mandarin, and I was like, gotta go mandarin. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, no. Delish. Fabulous choice. Shout out, Joritos. Mm-hmm. Gracias, amigo. Mucho gracias. <laughs> Perfecto. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so the first game we're going to play is called Truth or Dare. So you've probably played this at some point in middle school, uh, you know, high school, something like that. I think I'm familiar with it. Our game is usually pretty uh, pretty docile, but sometimes it gets spicy, so just heads up, right? I don't like spice, man. <laughs> <laughs> I stick with the barbecue chips. That's right. Yeah, me too. And even barbecue gets has a little kick to it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the, the hickory barbecue. Right. <sighs> need, a, need a joritos. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a perfect combo. All right, so um, this is how it works. Three rounds. You got to pick... A truth and a dare at least once. So you're going to start it out for us. Which one do you want to start with? Truth or dare? Um, do I, and I have to do three of them? Yeah. All right. I'm thinking I'll do dare first. Dare first. You're insane. Well, we <laughs> like to live life on the edge. All right. What does it say? What do you got to do? <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> I need Jake. <laughs> <laughs> What does it say? I need to kiss Jake on the cheek. <laughs> Jake! Hey, Jake, can you come here? I need you. I need to tell you a secret. <laughs> Jake, hurry. He's just so sweet. So pure. What's up, Meg? Hey. Can you get Jake for us, please? Yeah. Thank you. Well, oh, is he? Well, he, he needs it, to come in here right now. Five seconds. Yeah, this is way more important than his... I've got a very he, deep he, secret I need to tell him to <laughs> his cheek. <laughs> He's probably making like an like an upside-down pineapple cake in an easy-bake oven right now. I have no idea how to even go about that. <laughs> <laughs> Jake! Hurry! Can, can I tell you a secret? No, no, hey, come here, actually. We need you. Jake, come on. No, you know Jake. Jake, come here. Come here. She just got dared. She's got to kiss you on the cheek, so hurry up. I need to kiss you on the Jake. cheek. Jake, come on. Don't tell your date on Tuesday. Jake. Um, Michaela. <laughs> 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 Michaela, can I kiss your cheek? <laughs> yeah, I'm not there. 
Yeah. Cause Jake is no show. I need to kiss your cheek, Michaela. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yay! Thank you. Thank you. All right, have fun, guys. All right, later. <laughs> well, Jake didn't want to participate. Jake, what a baby, honestly. He's missing out. I'm like, I, extremely disappointed in him. I just exfoliated my lips, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michaela's going to be thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow, that was like a really good kiss, actually. <laughs> Poor Elon. <laughs> yeah, right. He's like, I don't care. Yeah, but you just got kissed by another girl. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't bother me. I'm fine. <laughs> He's probably thinking about it too. <laughs> Jake's like, man, I really missed out. <laughs> <laughs> Is right. it your turn to pick a dare? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go dare too. We'll see what I can get. Yeah, we're both doing dares today. Yeah, because we're crazy kids. <laughs> All right, so my dare is. Text your mom and tell her how special she is. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that is kind of cute. What are you going to say? I'm just going to say... Mom, you're special. I'm just going to say... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> hey, Ma. Whoops. <laughs> hey, Ma. Just wanted to let you know how special you are. I see it in your glasses that you're actually typing it. <laughs> I said, hey, Ma, just wanted to let you know how special you are. It is for the podcast, but I do mean it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to tell her that. I know, I know. But she's going to be like, what? Like, why, why did you text me that right Why now? are you texting me? Should I call are you, you? Are you in are trouble? You, yeah. <laughs> do, we, do we need to talk to you? Like, hey, I love you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to call me right now? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, your turn. Truth or dare? Well, um, I'm going to stick with the truths. Okay. Because that there was really extreme. That was tough. That was a tough one. <laughs> I'm like hot right now. <laughs> what does it say? What's the biggest risk you have ever taken? What is the biggest risk you've ever taken? And um, shout out. We had somebody comment on TikTok asking to ask this question in the next podcast. Ooh, fun. Yeah. So this is for, I don't know your username, but I will be posting this clip on TikTok. Hopefully you see it. Hopefully you're following and you'll be able to see the answer. Yeah. So the... As of right now, I want to say the biggest risk that I have taken is I moved from California to Arizona. Oh, yeah. Um, leaving almost all of my family behind besides my brother and I that moved here. Right. Um, completely different state. No job, no house, nothing. Right on. Um, Good for you. And just restarting, but not intentionally. I found out that I was restarting, like, a Every, year. Like, like, everything. Yeah. Completely, like, right. after. But and that was... What did you come out here for? Initially, school. Right. Yeah. I didn't last long. You um, didn't uh, graduate from GCU? Nope. I That's lasted, where you went? GCU, right? Yeah. I lasted a semester at GCU. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Things went down with my roommates. Um, actually, all of us got, like, booted. Because it's a dry you got campus. You kicked out of G uh, GCU? We, it was like a temporary leave <laughs> kind of oh, thing. Oh, I see, I see. Um, so, yeah, all of us got booted, all six of us in my dorm. Was the reasoning for it? Because I know GCU operates, like, if you get caught once with booze, it's like a strike. You got to do, like, community service hours. I think there might be a fine your second one, and then additional service hours. And then by the third one, you can actually get kicked off campus. That would have been really cool <laughs> what happened to you just one time it was yeah so a couple of my dorm mates roommates were um having some friends over right. and it's again it's a dry campus but yep. they had some some bottles well the night before i had my friends over but Bottles are may and may not have been involved. Right. Yeah. Um, but I had Maybe moved. Maybe not. <laughs> I had <Probably>. moved. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, right. I had moved, like, my dresser and oh. stuff into the living room because that's where you can have more room. Right. You know, you're sharing a room with three other people. Mm -hmm. um, and so all of my, my dresser and everything was in the living room mm -hmm. the night before. And then the night that we got caught, uh, all of us... Uh, all of my stuff was still out there. Mm. Well, when public safety walked in, they checked all the rooms and then realized, oh, this is a dresser in front of us. Right. And, and that's where my roommates had immediately like stashed their, their bottles. Mm. And the first question Tough. is, yeah, dude, the first question is, 
whose whose dresser is this? Right, and you're like, it's mine. Mine. Right. Um, whose bottle is this? And then my hand doesn't go up, and of course no hands go up. Right. And they're just looking around like, well, you're a dresser. Like, you got it. I had a, like, there was, like, GCU, like, court. Oh, really? Yeah, like, talking in front of, like, telling my story in front of a bunch of different employees and students. So then what you say when you had to go in front of the court? Were you just like, my dresser, not my bottles? Yeah, I said that, and the bummer part was, like, I wasn't even in the room with them. I had went with the buddy that had left a jacket, and it was nighttime. Uh. So we went in my room to go get his jacket, and this poor soul also got caught up. Oh, the yeah. kid that was with you? Yeah. And it wasn't be, even his boot, like no, nothing of his. Nothing. And not even of mine, but right when we walked in, public safety had walked in too. Oh my gosh. And they said, once public safety's here, nobody can leave. Right. And we tried to tell them, we're not involved, all this stuff. Right. But Doesn't matter. No. No. Mm-mm. What a bummer. Right? I, I got caught one time when I was at GCU my junior year. We had just gone out and gotten like a 30 rack of like bush light. Mm-hmm. The best brought, stuff. <laughs> right, exactly. High high quality, you know, top tier. Yeah, you're spending money for oh, that. I, hey, trust me, I know. It, it took a dividend out of the old bank account. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so we brought a case back and it was like our first night on campus. It was still welcome week and everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're drinking in the apartment. Uh, we had a decent amount and we had a couple friends over. Mm-hmm. So like there's cans everywhere. You know, we're a dude's apartment. Nobody's of cleaning course. up. So, um, the next day is like the second day of move in. So people are still moving into campus and RA I'm in the shower. My roommates are in their rooms and RA walks into our apartment, like unlocks the door. Why doesn't knock nothing. She said she knocked, but she's like, nobody, nobody answered. So I came in or whatever. She walks in she goes, is this anybody's Costco bag? And we're like, you walked into our apartment to ask us if this is our Costco bag? Like, don't you think we'd reach out to you saying, like, hey, we're missing a Costco bag? Yeah, and then to go completely into your apartment? Yeah, walked into our apartment, right? And then we're like, no, that's not ours. And then she leaves. And then I walk out into the living room. Like, I, I get out of the shower because, so, like, somebody knocks on the door like, hey, an RA's here. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, why? Yeah, get, so I shower's over. Right. I get out of the shower. We're talking to her for a sec. She's like, oh, okay, yeah, no worries. She dips. And I'm like... I can't believe she didn't see all the beer cans around. Like, wouldn't she have said something if she saw the beer cans? Yeah. Ten minutes later, public safety opens up, uh, shows up at the door. Mm. You know, knocks on the door. They're like, public safety, open up. So they walk in, and there's just beer cans, like, everywhere. We're like, what's the point of hiding it? We're not going to throw it in the trash right now. Like, well, then, what's the I point? mean, the trash should, like, totally see it. Yeah, well, they walked in, checked the trash, checked, you know, found a bunch of cans everywhere, dumped the rest out into the sink. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So oh then I ended goodness. up having to do... Community service, which we had to go, like, sort through cans on, like, a Saturday or, like, three <laughs> Saturdays in a row, which was kind of a, a bummer, but... Yeah, sort through cans I mean, because it was, you caught with cans, probably. Right, yeah. I don't know. It wasn't that big of a deal, but I was kind of like, damn, that was that was pretty tough that, like, yeah. she just walked in and then we got busted. Dude, that's, like, that's how I was, like, felt. Like, you're, you're not really doing anything wrong or, like, right. I mean, yeah, technically you you break in there, yeah. You're doing something wrong but you're not harming other people no you know right um and then she just went out of her way to walk in uh bogus yeah it's so bogus mm-hmm. and that's all you can say so i took it as like a life lesson in- right yeah that's what i think i did the same thing i was like all right i just got to be more precautious if i'm going to drink on campus it's n- it's going to be low-key and we're going to get rid of all the evidence before mm-hmm. anybody walks in with a costco bag <laughs> <laughs> no costco bags allowed yeah no sam's costco. club only. Yeah, the only <laughs> sam's club in this apartment you can't bring costco <laughs> bags in we're anti-costco <laughs> right exactly all right i think it's my turn for the yeah truth or dare what are you gonna pick? i'm gonna go i'm gonna go dare again the, Ooh, wow i know i'm feisty tonight if you go all three dares <laughs> I won't. I can't. I gotta pick a truth on the last one. Oh my gosh. Yes. What does it say? It says shotgun of beer. (gasps) Ooh. I don't want to at all. I have one for you. Should I go Uh, get it for you? A happy dad? Yeah. I'll do a happy dad. Yeah, you wanna what flavor do you like? Um whatever. Honestly, whatever. Mango? Do they have mango? We're gonna nope, we're gonna get our servants to do it. All right, so we're back. We took a little break. Um, we're going to do a happy dad. So I'm going to be shotgunning this right now on camera. <laughs> I think you'll shotgun it better than I can for sure. Um, oh, I'm goodness. not really good at opening it either. It'd get all over my face. 
Oh, nice. Oh, you're a pro. You even have the tool? It's just a key. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is the right tool you need. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Try it out first. I've never tried a Happy Dad. Oh, really? I like them. Yeah, that's gas. Mm -hmm. That's super good. All good right. Look, I'll count. Oh my gosh, I really want to finish it though, because I don't want to look like a little, little baby. I think <laughs> you can do it. It'll. There's gonna be a moment where you're so gonna bad. have to tell yourself like you can't, but then you gotta push through. Yep, absolutely. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's cracked. Here he goes. He's actually doing pretty good. It's spilling a little bit, but I mean. Did you finish it? Yeah. There's like, yeah. <laughs> there's like a little sip left. That's what I'm talking about. I got that all over me. Mm, nice stare. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Did you oh, like that? You think you could beat his time? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What was that? How long was that? Boom. At least... 16 seconds. I absolutely hate You're that, so Britt. I, I literally hate that feeling. I'm sorry you wrote that there for yourself. <laughs> I, <know>. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it, and I still am kicking myself for it. All right. Here's the third and final round. Are you going truth, or are you going dare? Oh, I'm going dare because of after what you just did. I kind of <laughs> feel bad. <laughs> what does it say? Oh, post a pic of a potato with no context. <laughs> On, on what? Snapchat, Instagram, whatever you want to. So you got to pull a pic, <laughs> pull a pic from online and post it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know what? Post it and then send it to me. Because then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in right here. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Because I already know what I'm looking up. I'm typing up funny looking potato. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hope, oh yeah, let's see what we got. <laughs> And you can't you can't post any words with it either. So it's just just gotta be the the uh, picture of the potato. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one. Can I show you? Yeah, yeah. Let me see it. <laughs> the wiener. <laughs> <laughs> a wiener potato. A wiener potato. I'm a potato. No context. No context. Okay, I found the one. All right, which one are you doing? Let me see it. <laughs> That's perfect. All right, post it. <laughs> Are you just going to take a screenshot and then edit it down and then post it? No, I'm adding it to photos. Oh, perfect. And then I don't do Instagram a lot. Should I do it? Just as, People are going to get notifications. People, people are going to be like, what? Brittany posted for the first time on her <laughs> story. <laughs> I got it. Just a potato. <laughs> That's actually so funny. People are not going to understand that at all. They're no. Like, what? Unless they really care about us. And right. Then They'll be like, oh, bird watching. They're going to know. <laughs> yeah. They're going to know. They're like, I got to watch that episode next Monday. All right. I posted it. All right. Last round. Truth or dare? What are Here. you doing? Truth? Yep. I'm going to do truth. I haven't, I haven't done one yet, so I got to do a truth. Have you ever had a UTI? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was for me. <laughs> So I've never had a urinary tract infection, um, but you know, you never know. We got a lot of life to live, so maybe in the next couple of years. Have you ever had a scare? Like <laughs> a UTI scare? Well, no, like a girl. Let's not focus on UTI, but like a like a scare kind of like not. Um, I actually I think I've had a whoops I, I think I've had a <laughs> UTI scare before. Like I had like a weird pee. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, do I have an infection or something? Because it kind of like hurt coming out. Oof. But then I found out that like I was fine. I was just like super dehydrated or something like that. And like yeah. it went away after a day. So once you drink your water, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, literally. Yeah. I've had, um, so I've had a scare, even uh, though it wasn't U my truth. A UTI or an STD? A UTI scare. Oh, okay. Um, or I think it was like an STI scare. Sexually transmitted infection? Yeah. Uh, okay. I think that's different. Yeah, it is. Because um, it's like super treatable, I think, right? STIs are very treatable. Sometimes yeah. STDs are not, mm -hmm. or like curable. Yeah, curable yeah. is the thing. Um, yeah. I had an ex, and she would like bleed a lot. Uh. Um, and went to the doctors, and and they said that like she was potential of having like some kind of infection. Uh. But told me like 
a week or two after we've been getting close. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, and then and then I had to go like, and then once the you information got checked got to, out too. Yeah, I got checked. And you were fine. And, yep. Okay. Yeah. That is a scare though. Yeah, total scare. Yeah, that's scary. All right, cool. So you just finished our second ever game of Truth or Dare. How do you I'm, feel? really loved it <laughs> it is kind of fun right it was kind of i don't know the potato thing is i think my mom's gonna get mad about that but <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> no <laughs> it's like why it's just a potato a bunch <laughs> of people are for sure gonna be confused yeah for sure same thing happened to me last week when i had to post a picture of bethany on my story with my boo i had like 15 <laughs> yeah. i had 15 people hit me up like you have a girlfriend like spill the beans like what's going on Who, like who's this girl and i'm like it's just for the podcast like check out the episode on monday you'll see <laughs> i I so, saw the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, too oh, funny. wow, Jack, finally. Finally locked it's about in. Time. She was cute, too. Yeah, she's cute. She's a cool girl, too. But I think, did she say she had a boyfriend? Nope, I don't think so. Hmm. So my name's Brittany. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is Britt. I'm, yeah. uh, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> Slide in. <laughs> yeah, all right. We're going to Pitbull tonight. Yeah, <laughs> see, see you there. Come in, get the kitty. Meow, 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 meow. Guys, we have some sad news today. So, um, Rush Rush is not my cat. If you've been following the podcast since, you know, day one, you've probably seen a couple of cameos of him. Um, he is actually my roommate's cat, Josh. Josh is moving out tomorrow. Mm. So this will be the last episode with Rush. We won't see him again probably ever. Isn't that sad? Wow, the last episode with Rush? Yeah. Should we grab him? Yeah, I was going to say, has he been he shown? Not really. He's very talkative, okay, so don't mind that. Um, he actually loves everything. This is this is Rushington. He's actually purring right now, so he's happy. Um, can you see him? He's right here. He's got these vibrant green eyeballs. <laughs> is there anything you want to say? I see you looking at me. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Good boy. We put him on the spot saying that he was very talkative, and then he got shy. Yeah, he did get shy a little bit for a sec there, but he's a very talkative cat. He's a great cat. Um, I was not a cat person before, you know, moving in here at all. Like, seriously, not a not a big cat guy. Um, and he kind of changed my perspective. He's an awesome, awesome dude. So we'll, we'll definitely miss him. Hopefully you guys miss him too, but we'll have a – in September we'll have a little surprise, probably season three. Ooh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. That was yeah. the first time I heard that. Yeah, that's news. Yeah, we got a, a roommate moving in in September, and uh, he'll be bringing a pet into the house. Ooh, can't, fun. Can't spill the beans yet. I won't say anything, but... I have so many questions. I <laughs> guess I'll just wait You'll until September. Wait. You'll have oh, to wait no. <laughs> Goodness, why do you do this to me? I know. It's all about the uh, the anticipation is, is what we thrive off of here at Bird Watching Podcast. <laughs> okay, well, you got me hooked. <laughs> Too funny. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a bird caller. So somebody called in and asked us a question Fine. specifically for you. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> so we're going to listen to this. Um, this is Elon from Washington, D.C. He's DC. got a question for us. So are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here's the question. What's up, Renee? This is Elon from Washington, D.C. My question to you is, if you were going to be isolated on an island and you have the opportunity to bring three things, what would those things be? All right, so, oh. so you're isolated on an island. You're going to bring three things. What, three things? What are you going to bring to the island? Okay. Are you thinking, all right, question for you. Are you thinking survival or are you thinking comfort? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How long am I on this island for? Let's pretend like you think that you're going to be stuck there for the rest of your life. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, the first thing I would bring is a magnifying glass. Tell me more. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you why. Because at work, we got a bunch of new magnifying glasses. And these kids will take them outside mm. and understand that if you angle it right at the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Psst. Hot. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm sure... That would help with starting a fire Smart. and all that stuff. But I guess in order to start a fire, I need stuff to collect. So mm, probably a like a machete. Mm, not okay, a big so, one. So magnifying glass, yeah, not machete. One. <laughs> magnifying glass and a machete. And then what's the third thing you're bringing? Um, 
to like if I'm stranded there to survive. Um, I probably guess not, it's probably it's, not gonna be your phone. No, n- no, no, I can I can do fine without. Like, right, I, I'll talk to the crabs. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Um, Posting. Well, you could post, you know, potato pics on the island. <laughs> yeah, you want to see another potato? Come find me. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Who knows if I'll have service though? No, yeah. Let's let's assume that you don't have service. Yeah. So magnifying glass, I can use to <laughs> burn ants. Or right. I don't burn know. Burn ants, start a fire, or whatever. Um, yeah. and then a machete to chop down some stuff to help with the fire. Right. Um, with that, I'd say I'm gonna need that. If I have a fire, I can get food, whether it's like my hand or man-made tool or something. Right. I'm not worried about that, but what I am worried about is drinking something. Mm. And I don't want to drink just pure salt water or yeah, you river assume, water. Yeah, you have to assume that the island's like within the ocean. And so I get. I guess I can boil water but what am i gonna boil it in or something right so i take like a water like purifier Mm, smart something like that if if it was me and that was my third thing i'm probably gonna bring one of those life straws you know what those are no it's like uh it's a straw that filters out any water so like you put it in you just start drinking and it like filters it out you don't need to like boil water exactly wow yeah so that's probably i would probably agree with you if it wasn't a magnifying glass, <laughs> I would bring something to start fires because that's like n- necessary. <laughs> I'm probably I'm, I bet a fire starter would yeah, work. Yeah, fl- well, you could bring fl- you could bring flint and steel, but the thing about the magnifying glass that I actually agree with is you don't run out of it ever. No. Nope. So as long as you have daylight, it, it's gonna work. Yep. If I need to start something, if I need a fire, and it's coming around tail end of the day you know right i'd probably start it soon Mm -hmm. yeah you'd have to you'd have to start it like in the evening or Mm -hmm. like at least in the evening or like late afternoon start your fire i agree with the machete i think you have to bring a machete to like not only protect yourself but also like chop down wood yeah and then the third thing probably life straw a life straw Mm -hmm. so you would say the the life straw the machete and Probably a magnifying glass or something to make fires like flint and steel. Yeah. Well, I don't what, know. Would that count it, it, as two? Flint oh, and yeah. steel? <laughs> you, just, you just get flint or steel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that counts as two things. I, I mean, thought it, about that technically too. It does. I would say, yeah, it does. So yeah, maybe a magnifying glass. Just some, You need fire. Like that's Absolute, the most necessary Fire thing. and water. Yeah. And, and then you can find food on your own. Right. Um, Kill rats. Hopefully, before I get stranded on this island, I'd read like an encyclopedia about like plants. Mm-hmm. Which ones are edible? There you go. <laughs> which ones are not? Or you could, yeah, that that's actually a smart idea too. If you weren't gonna bring one of the three things we just talked about, bring something that will tell you like these plants are good, these plants are bad, because mm-hmm. that is necessary too. You're yeah. gonna be eating a lot of plants. Absolutely, either plants or like wildlife. Yeah. Because what if you catch a fish? Let's say it's like a, a rock fish. Aren't those and it's poisonous? Yeah. <laughs> I think you can cook a rock fish and still eat it. I'm not totally sure how that works. Because I think their poison is in their like fins. But I don't know. I don't know how it circulates. You know, I, then I'd overthink. Be right. Like, well, they've got poisonous fins, but I'm just eating the skin. But what if the poison went through the skin? You, know? you start overthinking it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Well, I, either way. Um, I think we've solidified that we're going to go magnifying glass, machete, and water filter. Yeah, I was thinking water filter, but I was also thinking the encyclopedia. I feel weird. Not, not, <laughs> not the, the, like the plant survival kit. It kind of makes sense too. No, I, yeah, I think you're right. Some sort of water filter filtration system yeah. is going to be more necessary. Water for sure. All right, guys. So, um, last thing we left off on is we had a bird caller from Elon. Our batteries died. So we weren't able to finish up that segment, but wherever we're at right now, we're just going <laughs> to jump into the next thing. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay, so the next thing we're doing is we're going to be talking about relationships a little bit. Oh, cool. We're talking about, you know, boyos, girlos, every, everything in between. So first question for relationships for you. Um, are you talking to anyone right now? I really wish I was. <laughs> yeah, but you're not? But no, but man, would I love to... Wait, one sec. <coughs> one more. <coughs> All right, go ahead. You're good. So are you talking to anyone <laughs> right now? No. Um, 
as much as I like. I wish I was. Yeah. I also, I don't want to force it. Mm. Um, so I'm not actively out there looking for people. I mean, I'll talk to some people with, when I see them because I'm, if let's say we're waiting in line at the DMV or something. Right. Somebody in front of me, I like I'll I'll say something. Like, right. And just make it seem a little bit better, you know. But mm-hmm. I'm not actively looking for something. Um. So kind of if if something falls into your lap. You're going to pursue it, but you're not actively like going out of your way to find a, a spouse right now. It would be cool. Um, like if it's hard for being a girl that likes a girl, cause I don't, if I see somebody that's cute, I don't want to just like go up to them and say mm-hmm. like, Hey, I think you're a hot stuff. Let me, <laughs> right, right. Let me cool you down. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, you know, right. and anything like stupid or silly like that, because I'm just, I don't want to make somebody feel uncomfortable. Right. Because what if it is just a straight girl that just it looks super cute? Right. Um, but yeah, right now, mm, chilling. Yeah. So when did you actually end up coming out? When did you start telling people? Um. Crazy thing is like, junior year of high school, mm. I. I came out to my really close friends mm. as like bye, mm. and because I would date dudes, because again that's what I, I thought that was like the right thing to do. Yeah, I try it out, and I really vibed with these guys, but like, getting intimate with them was just Not uncomfortable, it. right? You know. But then, anytime kissing a girl, I was just inflamed. Interesting. That's so interesting. Because I, I came up in a, a very conservative household, mm-hmm. you know, um, like a homosexual lifestyle is not even like in question, really. Yeah. And then actually, interestingly enough, um, my brother married a girl from England. Her brother is gay. So like, uh, I don't know, just like kind of an insight on like now you have a family member who's gay. Mm-hmm. And then going through college, you realize like there's a lot of gay people. Yeah. So you, your perspective on it kind of changes. I don't know if that impacts your morals or like what you think is right, what's what you think is wrong. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, like you're just gonna meet more and more people who are not like exactly like you. Yeah. That's normal. That's just how life goes. And when I came to terms that like I like girls, um, I had to be aware that yeah, there are people that don't agree like they're not gonna say like i don't know say yeah go marry the same sex or whatever right. but but they don't hate you no they they still have the love for you right you know? they're still gonna love you but they're not gonna agree but they'll support you they're not gonna say like i i just i don't know um like support you as a person not like because obviously somebody who's kind of an old head or like somebody who's more traditional with like the ideology of marriage they're not going to support in the in the way that like you're living your life. Yep. They're still going to support you as a person though. That's and it. that's what's important. Yeah, and right. that's when you find that because I grew up in a very uh, just like you conservative um, household. I'm the so, only. So okay, so what happened when you had you told your mom? Well, I'm the only gay person in my family. Okay. And the only how did lifeline. like what was it like when you broke the news to him? I when I told my mom. <laughs> She's such a sweet lady. Uh, Shout thank out mom. God. Thank Hopefully God for you're her. Watching. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll send you the link. <laughs> like out. and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, right? Anyway, but what'd she say? It, it was a very tough time because I had to come out. Like, I was on my way to a basketball tournament, mm-hmm. and I got like, I was in a secret r- relationship with a girl. Oh, at the time? Yeah. In high school? Uh-huh. Okay. And nobody knew. And on my way to this tournament that my mom's driving me to, I get a text like, I kissed my best friend and mm. da 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 da. We're not working out. And like, I have all these emotions. And you want to tell her about it? I want to, but like, I but just broke down. I broke down crying. Right. You mm. know? And she, my mom's like, Yeah, okay. But yeah, like. <laughs> And, What's his name? <laughs> and and you're like, so it's not a guy. <laughs> I just I just went and told her, mm-hmm. and, but I never told her I was involved with other people. Mm. That was just not my thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I told her straight up, like, like, for the last five months that you've been dropping me off at this person's house, like I've actually been like 
secretly dating them and it's a girl and I just found out that like that we're not working out da 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 mm-hmm. and so she took it the, the sweetest way heartbreaks are gonna happen mm. you know this is how you're gonna get stronger so she just treated it like a relationship rather than like oh it's a gay relationship yeah yeah totally yeah. like and and I was scared totally scared and she was just like I'm sure she probably had to talk with my older sister. My older brother maybe gave the same word for word for, like talk. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel I didn't feel like uncomfortable. Mm. And my mom has never made me feel uncomfortable about So you've had conversations with her about it since then obviously. Yep, I've had girls over saying like, "Hey, I like this girl." And mm. she'd be like, "Okay." Interesting. The same thing if you have them if you have them over and keep them the door open or mm-hmm. something like that and same thing she told my siblings and is your mom religious super all all of my family grandma and grandpa sang in the church choir mm. um so has there been any like has there been any disapproval from a family member because of it there's disapproval in the choices of who i marry mm. with some people but there's never a lack of love. Mm, yeah, that's great. So, and I'm always reassured that I'm, I'm loved for who I am, and 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 it doesn't seem in like a corny way, mm-hmm. you know. Right. Um, but then sometimes I'll just randomly get hit by some family member, like, so. Have you decided you like men yet? <laughs> uh, are you? Are you're not gonna? You're not so, gonna like, are be you, happy. Are you over that phase? Like, yeah. <laughs> you're, do you understand that true happiness comes from a man and a woman? Uh. But vocally, I'll be like, well, I don't know if you've experienced my kind of happiness, but I'm super happy with this girl, mm. or with any girl right. actually. Like, mm. interesting. That's a tough situation because, especially when you get involved in like a very conservative home. Um, very conservative people, they're going to be like man and a woman for sure. Like mm-hmm. that's just, you know, the natural progression of what a relationship is. When you bring in a different, you know, like an altercated, is that the right word? Altercated? Yeah. Like a, a, an alternative lifestyle is going to stir up issues in a family that like is very solidified in what they believe. Different like either issues or opinions or right. anything. Yeah. It'll throw them off for right. sure. Very interesting though. I mean... But so, yeah, I've never, ever felt a lack of love, but there has definitely been vocalized, they're concerned if I'm ever going to find true happiness. Yeah, like vocalized disapproval or vocalized concern. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, a lack of love has never been... Good. Nothing. I mean, that's the important thing, because at the end of the day, like, none of us are perfect, so you just got to love on everybody. Yeah. And that's something that I lack in, in, in a certain sense. I... I definitely lack in certain areas of like empathy. Like I have a tough time being empathetic to people just because, and I think it sprouts from, I I had like the, like I had such a good childhood, like growing up, great family, great parents, everything like that. So I never experienced like a lot of sorrow or like bad moments happening in my life. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that I lack in. And it's something that I've been trying to focus on, like trying to improve in just being more empathetic to people because everybody has a different lifestyle. But well, if, I'm going to be honest with our viewers here. Yeah. The first time I met you, I I remember it vividly. I don't know if you do. Me and you, meaning for the first time? Mm-hmm. I don't have a very vivid memory of what happened. Well, I'll tell you, Was speaking I... of empathy. Yeah. We were um, at a friend's house mm. hanging out with a bunch of other people. I had gotten myself in a situation where I felt uncomfortable um, with another dude. Mm. And... He, yeah, just made me uncomfortable. And we we left, him and I left in a car, leaving the house with a bunch of people. Yeah. And then when I we came back in the car, I just wanted somebody to feel safe with, mm. right? And the first person that I saw was you <laughs> on top of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I know this story is true. Yep. <laughs> I'm a big rooftop guy. I love roofs. And... And you were like, hey, who are you? Can you come in kind of thing? Yeah. And so I went, I saw you and I remember seeing you 
before we left, I was like, you're not the person that I was just with. Right. Let me be a lot more safer with a stranger. Right, right, right. Um, and so we sat, I climbed, you helped me up on top of the roof, and I told you about the experience and how uncomfortable like it was. Like this guy, yeah. Yeah. And it's my food, like, my first time ever, like, talking to you. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm just, it was so uncomfortable. It was so weird. Da, 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 da. And I just remember you, like, putting your arm around me, like, patting my back, <laughs> saying, like, it's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, so but to me, like, I felt, like, in your heart that you were telling me it was actually going to be okay instead of just, like, I don't know what to say. Like, you're going to be all right. Oh, yeah. Kind no, of thing, you know? Yeah. Like, if I say something like that, I actually, you know, mean it. I just, <laughs> there's certain situations where I do lack, like, the quality of empathy. But I'm glad to hear that, you know, the first time we ever met was, you know, kind of a close connection. I don't totally remember that moment, but I, I can, definitely remember sitting on that West Rose Lane house. You remember? See, I didn't even see the, say the house. I knew it was that house. I knew yep. I, I would sit on that roof, like regularly like very regularly i loved mm -hmm. i loved grabbing a beer and going up there and like drinking a beer like it was my favorite thing ever it was cool i mean we were young yeah and it was the first time we could sit on top of it i didn't right. sit on a never roof. sat on my house yeah no no i thought it was the craziest experience like sitting on a house that doesn't even make sense like why would you do it on top of a but roof and it was it. totally okay right watching the sunset with right. the beer and you like speaker right next to you <sighs> say less yeah yeah i love it um here's your next question um, what is a quality that lacks in girls that you see more often in guys? Oh, okay. <laughs> for, well, well, first thing that comes to my head yeah. is like, let's say you drink my last beer or something. Right. And I come home from a long day of work and I was really looking forward to that beer. Mm -hmm. And we talk about it and... You say, hey, sorry, I let me go get it right now, you know, right. or something like that. I next one, next five are on me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then and then we're like, all right, cool. And then let's go watch a movie together or something, you mm -hmm. know. Well, stinking girls will. <laughs> that was my last beer. <laughs> okay, oh. so like stinginess, almost super like grudge holding. Like oh, interesting. Yeah, I do see that more often in girls than guys. Um, girls seem to hold on to stuff more often. Mm -hmm. Like they'll hold on to something for a longer time, like a longer duration. Yeah, guys are kind of like, "Yo, you drank my last beer. Like, what the heck is wrong with you?" And then like five <laughs> minutes later, though, it's like, "All right, so like, we gonna go get more beer?" Like, yeah, kind of thing, you know. Guys like, move on faster, I think. You you talk about it, address the situation, and you obviously understand, like, I'm right. um, not cool or whatever. Um, and then but you move it's, on. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. No. Like, we're friends. We love each other, you know? Right. But I've seen girls end friendships, years-long friendships. Mm -hmm. over, over petty stuff. Petty, yeah, petty, crazy petty. petty. Yeah. And I would actually agree with you. I think that's where the differentiation is between, I mean, if you're going to pinpoint one specific character quality, it's girls do hold on to things way longer than guys do. Yeah. Because like when I was growing up, me and my brother, I could probably count the times on my hand, like how many times we fought or gotten in an argument. And like, seriously, we would get in like pushing matches, like we'd <laughs> yeah. get like physical. And then like 10 minutes later, my mom would be like, you guys need to talk it out, yada, yada, yada. Oh, like, you need to figure out what's wrong, and we're both chilling at that point. Yeah. It's been 10 minutes. It's, I'm over it. Like, yeah. uh, let's She's find... like, how are you guys already over this? <laughs> we're like, we just, I don't know, it's moved on, you know? Yes, and I, <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm gay or, <laughs> <laughs> hey. or what, but because, like, I can, yes, I'm a girl, and I w wouldn't change it for the world. Right. But... I can have a conversation with someone that they could be mad at me and tell me, hey, you did this wrong, and I would totally be unaware, you know? Right. And then move on. Like, I address it, work on it, m acknowledge it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then just move on and just keep going. I don't I don't hold grudges. Right. Um. And so, like, I don't know. Maybe because, like, I sometimes want to say I've got girl code and I've got bro code. Probably do. Like a little bit. 
yeah like and i don't know i wouldn't i don't do that petty stuff mm-hmm. like the yeah. grudges i could be get over right me. i could be um the first one to say like uh, i totally agree you don't hold grudges you're quick to move on from stuff you you kind of do have like an aspect of you know bro code you know how guys operate you also know how girls operate yeah so you're kind of in a sweet spot it's super cool yeah and it's really awesome because being a girl i love hearing tea Mm-hmm. I hear from both sides. Mm. Love the drama. Bring it in. Oh, I forgot I, I didn't put the glasses back on. No, they're on the back. <laughs> hey, they're back on now. <laughs> Should we move on to um, taste tests around the world? Yeah, I'm kind of nervous. About I am it. very nervous. <laughs> All right, so t- um, we're going to do taste tests around the world. And today we're focusing on uh, Mexicano foods. Uh, uh, yo, yo comido el Mexicano candies. <laughs> that was, I pretty sure that was good. <laughs> that was like Spanglish. Like, I think I, threw I in a eat of like Spanish too. candies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yo comido. Uh, that's not even right. It's it would be, um, I don't know what eat Yo is. Com- Yo Co- como. Comida, comida Yo is como. food. Yo, yeah, yeah. Yo como. Yeah. See, si. alright, perfecto. <laughs> um, so the first one we're gonna try is called pulperindo, original pulperindo with real fruit. So Ooh. here's yours. Thank you. We're gonna be trying out um, some Mexican candy, and we're gonna let you know what we, we what we think. Uh, we'll be given decimal points, obviously. Same thing as Rooster Reviews. Of course. This is what it looks like. I, am, I I am not gonna enjoy this. When I bought this, he asked me. I told him to pick out his favorite. Oh, okay, and, cool. But I told him I was like, I really don't like spicy. Okay. I like spicy candies, and he said his girl thinks this is super sweet. Okay. Sweet. So knock it and dock it. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I think the texture gets to me. Mm-mm. Not me. I don't know if I can swallow. <laughs> it's, it's, the more you chew. Mm. I swallowed it. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Let's finish it. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. I absolutely hated this. Tastes like, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> it tastes like chamoy. Yeah. It totally tastes like chamoy, but Just, it also tastes like, like, um, do you ever try fruit leather? You ever had fruit yeah, leather? Yeah, where it comes in the circle and everything. Uh, we used to get the ones where they were kind of like this shape, but a little bit thinner and a little bit longer. Tasted just like this with chamoy, and I do not like it at all. No. So I'm gonna give my rating. Yeah. Let's I'm gonna hear give it, it a um, a two point three. Two point three. Like very low. Yeah. Don't I'm, don't like that. I would never eat. I'm not even gonna finish this. There's no way. No, I'm I'm definitely not gonna finish this. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Nope. Same. But I, disregarding the facial expressions that were made. Yeah. I didn't hate it. <laughs> okay. I hated it. Um, <laughs> I'd say it? like a, if I was on an island and, <laughs> <laughs> and I had to yeah. eat it, I would definitely not bring it. But if I had to eat it, I would. The yeah, same. I would eat it for nutrients. I'd give it a, a throw that away. 4.2. Okay. So not bad. 4.2 is not terrible. It's, but it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did not enjoy that. Mm-mm. All right. Now Can we're going to toss this as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame you. This is another, um, pulperine dough, but this is pulperine dots. Oh, okay. So I gotta so imagine it's gonna have a similar flavor. Okay, so we're in for a ride. I really didn't. That flavor is just too tangy. Yeah, it's man. I wanna say. Oh, two. I mean, I yeah, I got two. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great start for the Mexican candy. Knock it <laughs> and dock it. Oh, it's God, true. dang it. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. I'm going to give that second one back to you. <laughs> oh, frick. I don't know why I swallowed this one. I swallowed it, like, halfway chewed. <laughs> but the, the pizzazz still hangs around. Oh, my gosh, dude. That was a little extra spicy. All right, that one tasted like... Uh, you ever have those uh, cherry sour balls? 
No. What are you talking about? It tasted like that, but with chamoy. <laughs> oh, my god. It gosh. tasted like chamoy on chamoy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so rough. All right. Mm. That one had a better texture than the first one. Yes. So I'm going to give it a little bit of higher rating, but I'm going to go 2.5 because it <laughs> still tastes exactly like the first one. Um, I'm going to knock it down because it was too spicy for me. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to give it like a 3.6. Okay, I don't even blame you. That's... The, the spiciness, not for me. This is such a confirmation for me that I do not like Mexican candy. I try. I wish I, I did. I wish I liked it. I want to like it so uh, bad, but I don't. Me too. I just can't. All right, let's do the last one. Oh, this one. All right, so this one's called the Didos. Spicy and sour candy. Uh, can you give me candy that's not spicy? Sure. All of them. Extra spicy. God dang it. I know I'm going to hate this. Look at the color. I can't even open it. <laughs> All right, yep. So, Ditos. And, hey, comment below if you've had any of these candies and you like them. I want to hear about it because... Tell us what we're missing out Yeah, on. I mean, obviously, I'm in the wrong here. A lot of people like these candies, so... Well, he took me to, the, like, the most popular, like, candy section also. Oh, yeah, I'm not... All right. Knock it. Knock it. <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh. <laughs> well. Like oh a, my god. I can't drag. I <laughs> I didn't like that. Yeah, not spicy. He probably saw me. <laughs> I was like, this is not spicy, but it's the spiciest one. <laughs> Knock it. <laughs> yeah. Sheesh. Knock it. I'm not kidding. That made my eyes water. Okay. I hope you don't have an Here's ASMR. At all. Oh my gosh, it was so hot. That's so <laughs> spicy. So it tastes like the consistency is like almost a Laffy Taffy, a little bit harder than a Laffy Taffy, mm -hmm. but it has like a, a sour taste to it. And then it also is extremely spicy. <laughs> I'd say like a 12 out of 10 on the spicy scale. I don't think I've ever had a chip this spicy. All right. I'm going to give it a rating. This one is a 1.1. I'm going to go below you and say like 0 0.2. Okay. That one was not good. No. Uh-uh. And my Avoid. mouth is absolutely on fire right now. Yeah, I see. Uh -uh. I had to spit it out. I couldn't. I couldn't. I knew if I swallowed it, I'd feel the fire go down me. I don't want to be. I afraid. swallowed it like an absolute champ. I'm not afraid <laughs> to spit, and that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's move on. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Uh -uh. My consensus for Mexican candy, I really wish I liked it. I do not like it at all. I can't do it. I, I I wish I could, but I can't. Yeah, I try so hard. And my taste buds just need to switch out or something. I don't know. I think it's like the, the, the chili flavor or like something about it. It just does not agree with me. Mm -mm. And I wish it did, but it doesn't. Yeah. I'm okay I, with that. I like hot chips, but this was just an overload. So, <laughs> <laughs> for our last game, we're going to play Would You Rather. So right. I have a few would you rather questions for you mm -hmm. and you're going to answer them and I'll probably answer them too. My mouth is on fire right now, dude. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Okay. Here's your first one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got like indigestion. Oh, uh, um, what's that pink stuff called? Pepto-Bismol. Pepto. Yeah. <sighs> that'll, that'll definitely help. Oh do you? All right. We're going to take a quick break. <laughs> All right. And we're back. <laughs> All right, here's your first question. Would you rather be the only person that speaks out of their butt or the only person that doesn't? <laughs> okay. Um, definitely. I already know. Okay, go ahead. Uh, instant answer. Yeah. The only one to speak out of my butt. Really? Yeah. Why? Because people would think you're... Well, either way, you're looking weird. Like, if everybody yeah. speaks out of their butt, they're like... like 
Why? You're like, shunned. You're so, you're you know? so weird. I'm like, going to be like the spit off Spit out of child. your mouth? Ew, gross. <laughs> <laughs> so either you look weird because you speak out of your butt or you look weird because you speak out of your mouth. And um, I'm, a, I'm a huge advocate for this. If everybody... So like, here's an example. If everybody had 15 fingers, to us, that's weird. Yeah. But if everybody had it, if you had 10, that would be weird. They'd be like, oh, you're missing fingers. That's weird. Well, uh, I can see that. But, like, I do see some people on a daily basis, like, picking up kids with, like... Less or more. Less fingers. That's not as weird. Because then you could justify, like, oh, you must have missed, uh, like, lost those fingers in an accident. What do you mean? If you can't talk out of your butt when everybody else is, (laughs) then you're really... (laughs) You're You're right, you're right. You're really weird because there's something wrong with you. So, like, anytime I want to talk to you, though, I got to put my ear next to your cheek? Or, like, what? No, I'm sure... You talk loud enough? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'd make it loud enough. And I'm sure with being the only one that could talk out of their butt i'd get a lot of attention yeah yep. clout baby for clout, baby. days <laughs> for days give me that money dude i think i'm gonna go the opposite spectrum i think i'm gonna go even though i kind of just um I'm, I'm being a little hypocritical i think i'm gonna go the only person not to talk out of their butt but either way either situation i'm not gonna be talking at all i'll probably go mute <laughs> because i'm like i don't want to be like that guy you know unless yeah. it's for like a circus or like some sort of event that i'm making money on or um like kind of like a a freak show essentially like oh Mm. the kid who talks out of his mouth it's so gross you gotta see it (laughs) (laughs) that's the weirdo that we gotta avoid he he talks out of his mouth isn't that gross (laughs) all right let's see the next one would you rather chew on your own toenail or somebody else's fingernail yeah those are both gross yeah they are which one's better though um do i get a pick like Whose fingernail? Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Oh, yeah. Somebody else. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not that confident. Somebody else's fingernail because if I can make sure that they like Have are freshly fingers. out of like a salon or something. Um, and I'd make sure like if I do have to chew the acrylics. Get five inch long acrylics that are just plastic. Smart. There's I loophole. really like to chew on bottle caps, you know? I right. Just... <laughs> That's actually smart. That's kind of a loophole. But if you're going to pick somebody else's fingernail, just have them have long acrylics. And then you're not actually chewing on their fingernail. You're chewing on plastic. Um, I'll eat my own toenail. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, if I'm being totally honest, I've definitely bit my own toenail before. I've tried. Yeah. yeah. I, you're not flexible enough or what? <laughs> I, when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. No, I've definitely, I've when definitely I was younger, I, would, I, would I didn't want to admit to it, but yeah, okay, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it for sure. And if you have it, then you're lying. Like, you've don't, definitely You've definitely tried. tried to bite your own toenail. <laughs> like, don't, don't be that guy. No. Or girl. All right, here's your next one. <laughs> On to the next. Would you rather make a lot of money, but disappoint your parents in the way you do it? Or be dead broke, super poor. So like, I mean, here's an example. Stripper or (laughs) super broke. But Uh, like, if you're a stripper, you're making bands, like so much money. Well, this is a trick question because I disappoint them in both ways. Yeah. Yeah, If you're dead broke, they're like, oh man, you're really not making anything out of yourself. Well, if I want to get deep. I'm the only gay one. Right. You know, I'm. And I feel like I'm disappointing them daily. Already. Yeah. Right. Um, and so, with that being said, I know that they're gonna love me, no matter what. Uh huh. Um, whether they agree with what I do, so yeah, I'd be rich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd be rich and do that, and then, but they still, they're still gonna love me. They're still gonna text right. me because I've got. That like good family support system. They they're definitely not gonna agree. Right. If I'm doing something like that. <laughs> I think I would rather be dead broke than disappoint my. I mean, I I really care about what my parents think of me. Like I'm super concerned about, like getting their not getting their approval, but just like making them proud of me is super important to me. So, and I think being dead broke, I don't think my parents would care. They'd be like, you know hopefully you'll figure it out hopefully you'll find a niche hopefully you'll start making money yeah but i think they'd be so disappointed if i was like you know a male stripper or you know something that would disappoint them i think that's much worse in their eyes than like me not having a ton of money 
But I, I hey, listen. I can't wrap my I, head I think around that. Your take is great too. So because I don't think <laughs> I don't think my like I don't think there's anything that I genuinely as a person would do anything to genuinely disappoint them. Mm, I see. Um, like I. There's nothing that I think I would actually do to like disappoint them, like and to lose their love, kind yeah, of. Thing. Yeah, absolutely not. That's and just even a good if family. they like didn't like necessarily think it it was the best path at the time, but maybe they thought like, yeah, I'm gonna learn a lot from it. Mm-hmm. I just I don't think that they'd be disappointed. They'd tell mm-hmm. me I don't agree and all this stuff, but they'd still show compassion. Yeah, I just to me, I personally. Can't wrap my head my head, head around, around it. That. Yeah, I totally get that. All right, here's your next one, and <laughs> and also the final one. This is your last question. Would you rather go back in time and meet your ancestors, or go into the future and meet your great great grandchildren? Ancestors, for really? sure. You want to go meet the people that were kind of in your lineage? We, yes, but when I think about that, I want to know what the the world looked like back uh, then. So you're more focused on the environment of what the world is at that time. Mm-hmm. Aren't you curious about like in, you know, 70 years, like what is the world going to look like in 70 years? You're more focused on like what's already happened. In, I care about what the world is going to look like in 70 years. But to me, I'd definitely rather it be a surprise. Mm, yeah, yeah. And learn. I get that. No, you I totally Because yeah. let's say right now I do jump forward 40 years. And then and then I can only spend five minutes out there. And then I come back here with all that knowledge. Right. And then I'm stuck being the only one like. With that knowledge. Yeah. The only one talking out of your butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be the only one talking out of my butt. I'd be such a goofball but so cool i okay you got me (laughs) (laughs) you know what my take on that i think i'm i'm like i love history like my dad loves history i i love history Mm -hmm. i think it'd be very cool to see what happened you know like meet my grandpa from 100 years ago that nobody knows about in my family whoops (laughs) but i think i'd be more curious about meeting my great great grandchildren because it's going to be like you're I'm assuming that you go into the future as you. So like I'm 24, yeah. I'm going to meet these kids who are like 15, 16, maybe 20, whatever. How however old they are, meeting them and being like, "Oh my gosh, like you're what our lineage is going to look like in 70 years." Like that's crazy. Like you're you have my bloodline. Like I don't know. I just I think the one that appeals to me more is like people in the future. It'd be super cool to see. It'd be crazy. Um, it I just, I don't think I'd be ready for it. Yeah, no, I agree. I don't think, I, I think there's, there'd be a lot of things that were like, oh, you don't know what this is? Like, how do you not know what this is? Yeah. It's like, that hasn't been invented yet. Mm-hmm. I don't, I've never even seen or heard anything of like that, you know, essence. But uh. I, th- I think I, I would really like to see somebody who I could never, uh, either way, it's somebody you could never meet in your lifetime. Yeah. But in the future, I think the difference between us is the environment. I want to see the future. You want to see the past. All right, Brit. <laughs> well, our cameras died twice. Oh, I'm like out of the out of the shot too. I'll s- sit over here for a sec. So our cameras died twice. Um, we're finishing up right now. Uh, we kind of wrapped up. Would you rather's? But guys, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. It was good to see you, Brit. Thanks so much for showing up. I do appreciate it. Hey, thank you for having me. I felt at home I'm with good <laughs> I'm glad glad it was so fun I had a good time obviously it's it's always going to be more fun when you're hanging out with somebody like you you really know and you kind of can chit chat about anything and everything so mm-hmm. well great. guys oh, sorry I just cut you off and timestamp right there <laughs> well guys we will catch you next Monday peace science teacher talking about a cell and I guess I'm doing pretty well thanks for having me Jack <laughs>